Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And I have myself a letter here from Pasquale Martinez from New Mexico asking, could you do your videos like you did last year? It was a short letter. And uh, I was like, okay, it sends your letters. We love your letters. Can we go down? I'm going to. I'm going to give you pics right away, by the way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh show you picks for every game, but there's some I can't give you because they're paid picks. If you want the paid picks, Patreon, BPAL picks. Go download the Patreon app or Google Patreon. Go to BPAL picks. We are hitting like crazy. After that, I'm going to show you how well we did the day before. And uh, you can see for yourself how the picks turned out. How about that? We're going to do it that way. So I'm going to give you more picks this way. How's that for you? More picks for your life. Yeah. Pearl dance for that, I would say. Sub yourself up. We'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door. Pearl Coptered by Hernandez and Melissa. Hernandez and Melissa. Hey. Yay. Yeah, they're, they're saying hi. They're saying hi. Hernandez and Melissa. Okay, so be pal picks, Patreon. Or if you just want one pick or like a parlay, you can go 780-690-1995 in the comment section. I'll put it in the comment section. Message me on that number or just email transfer to pearlsofwisdom1212 at gmail.com. $5 for one pick. If you want the parlay, I'll give you, a, it's 10 bucks and I'll give you the pick. If you don't win, you don't pay. Not too bad, eh? All right, let's take a look at the picks for tonight. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay. But this is Odds Shark. Go check it out. You can get your best odds on there. Odd Shark, it's the best there. I said it. All right, Florida Panthers and the Boston Bruins. And, oh, this is going to be a barn burner, isn't it? Uh, this is the total right here. As far as the total is concerned, I probably would fade it. Um, but, man, you got Allmark is going to be in that uh, for and for Florida, it's going to be uh, Bobrovsky. So th those are, those guys can stop everything. Allmark is fantastic. And the way Boston is playing defensively, I would probably lean the under on that. Uh, as far as the money line concern, I can give you this pick because I'm not really – it's going to be a, a small bet, if anything, on my Patreon. So I, I'm going to keep on leaning to Florida. I just, they're at home, they're sixth win in a row, they're, they're, they're flying right now, but Boston's playing very well as well. I think it's going to be a pretty close game. Uh, not a bad move, I suppose. It's probably going to be tight to throw Boston on the PL on a parlay. Uh, I cannot touch this game for you guys. Sorry about that. Both are paid picks already. So I'll go to Toronto, Chicago. Uh, I can give you one here. I can't give you the over-under, but I can look at the money line. Um, Chicago is just going through some terrible stuff there. And uh, Toronto's not doing very well as well, as we both know. They both have horrific rep records. But I think with all the stuff going on in Chicago, it's just causing a lot of confusion in the dressing room. With Fleury having to move the way he did, uh, the energy is not good. It's possible here, though, that now that it's all public, that the Chicago players could kind of like feel a sense of relief and play not a bad game. However, I'm still going to go with Toronto. I wouldn't go in regulation. I would just do money line. It's a, to me, it's a little bit of a dangerous game. But if that helps you out on a lean, great. Good for you. Uh, Vegas versus Dallas. I can't give you a, I can't give you a total on this game, but with I believe um, 
let's look at it here. Why not? You guys can see it. Whoops, wrong. This is a left wing lock. I believe for Swaz projected, yeah, because they were on a back to back. And Anton Hudobin. Um, Brassois is a really good goaltender for a backup. I like him a lot. Um, the Knights are on a back-to-back, -back, but the Dallas Stars have looked old so far this year. Um, and I believe this is their first game back on a road trip as well. Uh, is, it, is it their first game at home on a, on a road, after a road trip? Let's take a look. Computer is running slow. Yes, it is. How much of a road trip was it? I'm afraid, I, afraid to look for how long it's going to take. If it's their first game back on a road trip, I might swing Vegas here. It's first game back on a road trip, by the way. It's it's difficult because you get home. Okay, no, it's not their first game back on a road trip. It's a tough game to, to pick because Dallas really hasn't been playing well. Um, Vegas is on a back-to-back. -back. Home team, ooh, wow. As you can tell, I'm not very – so you know what? Take Vegas PL. What's Vegas getting on uh, the to on the spread? You get minus 148. You get half your money back. It's probably a really good play. I imagine Vegas will keep it at least to uh, one goal. That would probably be your most money you could make for the best percentage of chance of winning on that game. Vegas PL. Uh, Philly Edmonton, I can't give you either one on that game. I have a play on both paid for. Um, so that's how I did it last year. I hope you, you guys uh, enjoy that. And we'll look at uh, why you would want to become a Patreon member. Let's take a look. Uh, last night, can uh, we have, for my one pearl picks. Now, when I'm doing one pearl picks, that, that means I'm not super confident, but uh, well, th I throw it out there. So if you have other cappers that are working with you that are giving you other sides that you really like, and I'm going to kind of support that a little bit, then great. Good for you to do the bet. Uh, I had Canadians over Kraken. I don't know what I was doing. I, I thought that after the Canadians left uh, and left Montreal that they'd have a new energy and come in. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, sometimes you just think afterwards, like, what the heck was that? I have Predators over Sharks ML. I really wish I would have put more on that because I was pretty confident about that. Uh, but the Sharks were playing with such good energy. I took it a little easy on it. This one surprised me. This was under all day until the third period and then the floodgates opened and we didn't hit our under. So we're down a little bit there on, on the, well, where were we down? Two units? Two and a quarter units, something like that. Uh, but that's all right. We make it up here. Uh, we didn't hit our parlay, so that's down three unit to three and a quarter units. Uh, flames over Devils ML. We got that for two units, and that was at two point zero. So we got up. I, I, I really. The only reason why I kept it to a two pearl pick there was because the Flames were on three, three, uh, three games and four nights. But I really should have upped it because the Devils had Dawes in that. They have a hard time against the Flames type of game. Really wish I would have upped it, but I didn't, and that's it. Jets over Ducks ML, again, a two-pearl pick. So what were we down? One and a quarter? One and a quarter, something like that. This puts us up just a little bit. We're about a quarter of a pearl up. Uh, made it interesting. I thought the Jets were going to play a lot better than they did, but I was pretty confident they would take that game. I'm going to be a little more on the Ducks after last night. They played a very confident game last night, uh, but it fell apart in the third. Tend to do that. They tend to not be able to hold leads. When they can start holding leads and playing with that kind of confidence, this team isn't going to be too bad. 
Uh, five pearls we lost here. Avalanche over the Golden Knights and Reg. Uh, there was their first game back, Avalanche's first game back from a road trip, but it's been a couple days. They should have been ready. I'm telling you, I've said it before, and I really need, I'm going to start putting this into my betting a little more. Bednar, I think, is not the answer for Colorado. Yes, I think so. We'll see what happens there, but uh, that I'm, I have been having more doubts, more doubts, more doubts, and it doesn't look like he is. Wild over Canucks that brought so we were down five, so we're down four and a quarter, but we got up four here. Wild over Canucks ML, and this was my best play. I like this play a lot, and uh, so we we were down a little bit last night. We were down a little bit. Uh, that's boat. Oh, but pretty much broke even. I, I really thought we did a lot better than... Oh, that's what it was. I had... I had some... Oh, the Bucks. I had the Bucks over the Pacers. So that put us up a little bit. And I think I had some tennis picks come in as well. So we were up a, a shade. Uh, however, that was... Probably my first break even of the week of the year. We've been hitting consistently up a lot, hitting a lot of parlays, everything. Patreon, it's a blast. We have so much fun. Come enjoy it. It's a, lots of frolic indeed. Uh, that's my full 42. And I'm going to tell me in the comment section if you prefer me to do it in such ways. Because I will. Because I like you guys. You guys are my favorite YouTubers in the land. I'm going to so you know, I'm going to send you some pearls. I feel like you need some pearls. In honor of the San Jose Sharks new energy, I got some I got Helen, you know Helen, she grinds up all the pearls. I got Helen to uh do some teal pearls for you. Here you go. Ready? <sighs> Teal pearls in the land for all of you. Look at it falling down everywhere. Makes it look all pretty. All right. Be here for tomorrow where we'll have more picks, more free picks for you. Hope you enjoy the programming. Have a great day. Okay. Bye.